So you might be trying to turn off text protection or prediction on your particular Android phone. Now, it really depends on which particular Android phone you have, but the thought process is basically the same on all of them. So what you're going to want to start off by doing is you just want to go through and just make your way over into your particular Android settings application. So you come into this type of panel and you want to click on the search bar in the top right corner right up here. So tap into that search bar and then this page is basically going to come up. Now what you want to do here is you want to go and type in you know prediction or you can type in text prediction. But as soon as you start typing in prediction or predict, you'll start seeing things come up. If you have the Gboard application installed, you should be able to see the Gboard stuff on your stock Android phone. But if you have a Samsung keyboard phone, you should be able to see this thing come up here. So you can go ahead and kind of choose and erase or customize your you know, text prediction predictions that you want. So here you can do multi-language tech, text prediction. I can't even talk today. Your multi-language text prediction here. So that is an option. You can also do auto spacing and change up all your typing options here and enhance you know, accuracy. And you can also erase your particular keyboard settings here too. If you want to erase your personalized predictions, you have that option too. And you can clear your cache as well if you really want to. Now, if you have Gboard, if you have a different keyboard, all you're going to have to do is make your way over into those particular applications. So you can find the Gboard app, you can find whatever app you're trying to look for. And from there, there should be an option that allows you to go and specify your you know, options as well. Inside of preferences, if you have a dictionary of you know, words, you can remove them there. So you have a few different options here as well. So I'd recommend going through here and customizing those settings as well. So that's kind of how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.